Uh, it's something you don't see every day. This bear was spotted walking through neighborhoods around St. Louis last month. Eventually, it went up a tree, was tranquilized, and taken to a safer location. And just a few days ago, there was another bear wandering around in Monroe County, Illinois. But there are other things to look out for in the wild. We talked with the Missouri Department of Conservation about what you really need to worry about. There's not a lot of things that are going to want to eat you or attack you or anything in Missouri deliberately. That's good news for those of us wanting to spend time outdoors. The thing you probably have the biggest threat from when you're going in the outdoors, realistically, is the small things like ticks, chiggers, poison ivy. Those are things that I guarantee you will encounter. Using a good bug repellent with DEET is a good first start to keep the ticks and chiggers away. And stay on the trail. The more you're on the trail and the less you're going through brush and grass, the less likely you are to encounter ticks and poison ivy and chiggers. Leaves of three, let them be. That's the saying to remember. It's important to note with poison ivy that you can get the oils that cause the irritation from any part of the plant. That includes the leaves, the stems, the berries, or even if you burn it, the smoke can possibly release some of that too. The best thing is to avoid the tall grasses and wear long pants. The majority of snakes are not venomous, and even the ones that are venomous are not typically aggressive. The copperhead and the western timber rattlesnake are the two venomous snakes locally. If we just keep our distance, the snake will not come after you. In fact, most wild animals don't want to tangle with you. If you get too close or you get in a situation where they're protecting their young or something, any kind of wildlife could possibly act aggressively, and that's mostly in defense. So what to do? Keep your distance from all wildlife. Don't approach, don't harass, both for your own safety and for the sake of the wildlife, because that puts stress on them to have to deal with what they perceive to be as an intruder or a threat. Now about those bears. Well, there's always a chance that you might encounter a bear, especially if you travel more to southern Missouri for camping or fishing or hiking or floating, where there tend to be more bears than around here. If you encounter a bear, make yourself look big, that you're not scared, that it's not something that you want, the bear wants to tangle with, and then walk slowly backwards and, you know, make sure that you remain calm, but don't turn and run. Definitely don't try to get a selfie with a bear. Don't approach it for any, uh, for any reason.